I think possibly one of the best ways to help children solve and understand linear equations is to think about them as a set of balance scales. Indeed, if we take the word equation, we can almost get the word equal out of it. So what I like to think of is that my equal sign is actually in the middle, and that this side of my balance scales is equal to this side. It is balanced. I can demonstrate this principle a little bit further with my scales here and some of these small weights. At the moment, my scales are unbalanced. I've got three on this side, only two on this side. I therefore need to add a further one to this side for my scales to be balanced. Now, I can actually do any mathematical operation on either side of these scales. Remembering, I must do the same to both sides in order to keep it equal, in order to keep it balanced. If I was to say, do a multiplication, double what I have on this side, times it by two, I therefore end up with six on this side. In order for it to be balanced, I must do the same to this side. Multiply it by two to give me six on this side, and it's balanced. It's also the same for subtraction. If I was to subtract 2 from this side, it's unbalanced. In order to balance it, I subtract 2 from this side. What I'm going to demonstrate is division. If I was to divide this by 2, half it, I end up with 2 on that side. In order for it to balance, I must do the same to this side. Divide by 2, and it becomes balanced. And it's as simple as that. Often in algebra, we talk about unknown quantities. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, in each of these bags, I've placed the same number of weights. We don't yet know what's in them, so these are our unknown quantities. We need to give them a label. So we could use, say, a question mark, as we don't know yet what's in there. Or, indeed, a triangle. But typically, in algebra, we use a value of x. Now, because they're the same in each of these bags, I can give them the same label. And if I was actually to put these together, I could actually call them... 2x. Indeed, if I had three of them, that would be 3x, and so on. I'd like us to consider trying to solve the equation of 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. Now, I have my 10 weights on this side. I have my 2x on this side. I now need the addition of 4 in order for it to be balanced. As I'm told, that is the actual equation. 2x plus 4 equals 10. Therefore, it has to be balanced. In order to solve this problem, I need to have x on its own is equal to just a number on its own. But at the moment, I have an addition of 4 and a multiplication of 2 there, which I need to remove. I can't simply just rub them out, and that just doesn't work. So I need to try and apply my balance method. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the 4. A subtraction of 4 from this side will obviously unbalance my equation. So therefore, I need to do the same to this side. I need to subtract just 4. And my equation, once again, becomes balanced. So I now have 2x is equal to 6. So I now need to try and remove this multiplication of 2. Well, I can divide by 2. I can half everything. But again, I have to do the same to both sides. So if I half what I have here, take one of them away then becomes unbalanced again, but I must do the same to this side. I must half what I've got on here. So I'm going to remove three of them. And once again, it becomes balanced. So now I'm left with what was my unknown quantity, x, is equal to 3. And just to prove to you, that's what is actually in the bag. I've got my three weights there. And solve a more complex question now using the techniques I've just shown you. If, say, we take 6x plus 5 is equal to 83, my equation is balanced, my scales are balanced, I need to start by removing this addition of 5. So I can subtract 5 from this side. Now, plus 5, take away 5, leave 0. So that actually disappears. But I must do the same to this side. I need to subtract 5 in order it to still be balanced. Now that, 83 take away 5, leaves me 78. I'm now left with 6 lots of x is equal to 78. And I just want 1 lot of x. So what I need to do here is actually divide by 6. Divide that by 6 would leave me x on its own. 
However, I need to do the same to this side of my balance scales. I must divide by 6. And that, in fact, using a calculator, because we're not testing addition and subtraction skills, would leave me an answer of 13. I hope that helps.